Good morning, everybody. I can't say it is a beautiful morning here in Lancaster, but I thought we could use the fact, at least in Lancaster, I don't know how it is on Lewis and in other parts of um, Great Britain, but I thought, however it is, maybe we should bring some joy into our day through our yoga practice. So that is what we'll do. We'll feel into the breath, we'll feel into the body, find a little bit of spaciousness in our practice and a little bit of joy. Does that sound good? So we're going to start in a, an extended child's pose. I don't think we need any props for this practice, but we'll see how we get on. If you'd like to bring your knees a little way apart, unless it's really easy for you to lie completely over your knees together. And sit back towards your heels and slide your hands out in front of you. And all that really matters is that your head is resting on a surface. So if it doesn't easily come to the floor, then place something underneath it maybe your hands, maybe a blanket. And take your hands and your arms as close together or as far apart as feels right just now for you. And come into your extended child, noticing how you feel this morning. Noticing what it feels like to rest your palms and your forehead on this surface beneath you. Can you release in the jaw and soften in the whole face? And are you able to release in the shoulders a little? Allow them to become quite heavy and to drop. And feel the ribs. Feel your abdomen and then your lower body. And notice what it feels like to breathe this morning. you wanted to, you could bring a joyous ocean breath, ujjayi, into your practice by constricting the back of your throat lightly. And feeling the wash of the ocean or the wind in the trees fill and then leave your body with every breath in and out. And then come to the top of your next inhalation and pause and breathe out with your mouth open. And take two more like that. And asking yourself what you really need from this practice this morning. Do you have a wish or a desire for how to live your day that you could bring into your practice? And then pressing the 
fingertips into the mat and lifting the heels of your hands and elbows off the floor. So you have a sense of engagement in the arms going all the way up to the shoulders, the upper back. And actually push into the fingertips a little bit so you have a sense of pushing back towards your heels. And breathe here a moment, feeling a little bit more buoyant in the armpits. Feeling into the tissues of your back upper, mid and lower back. And then beginning to walk your hands and your arms and your head around to the left. As far as you can go without lifting your right sitting bone off the heel. And if this, for whatever reason, being in child's pose for too long doesn't work for you, do this on your belly. And maybe you can take your right hand over the left hand and then drop into that right shoulder, drop into that right hip and breathe into the right side of the body and soften. You don't need to be on your fingertips now. You could rest your elbows down. Take your breath where you feel obstruction, where you feel this morning stiffness. Maybe a little bit of tiredness. And breathe joy into the right side of your body. And then gently walking your fingers, your arms, your head back to neutral. And take a breath in and out here. And then come to the right. Come as far as you can go without lifting your left sitting bone off your heel. And then maybe take the left hand over the right, drop the wrists and the elbows. Drop that left sitting bone and now feel into the left side of the body. Is there tightness, tiredness, general weariness there? Maybe there isn't. Breathe here. And soften in the roof of your mouth your tongue, your throat. And breathe joy into the left side of your body. Beautiful. After your next exhalation, Coming back to the center again. And taking three full breaths here. If you like, you could exhale with your mouth open. the next breath in, meeting me in an all fours position. Knees underneath the hips now, hands underneath the shoulders. Really spread your fingers. Don't take anything for granted. Feel the mat beneath you. And on a breath in, begin to tilt the pelvis and follow the ripple of the spine up until your throat opens a little. And you can pause here until the breath out begins and the spine responds to the breath out. Tailbone down, chin in towards your chest, navel to the spine. And continue with these very familiar cat-cow movements, but make them really pleasurable. 
really embody a cat. Think of the grace and the pleasure a cat has as it ripples through its body. Noticing again little areas of tiredness and tension. Moving with the breath into those areas. You might want to roll your shoulders, slide your shoulder blades down the spine. At some point, you might want to curl your toes under and feel your way into a gentle downward dog. You can walk out your dog one leg at a time. Make this practice your own. It's an intuitive, feeling, delicious practice. Feel into the whole of your skin in your downward dog if you're here with me. And breathe into the front body. Breathe into the back body. And breathe into either side. One more breath in and then drop your knees. And placing your left hand a little bit further in towards the center. Breathing in and reach up with the right elbow and then open that arm out. And breathe out, thread the right arm through, come all the way down. And breathing in, peel it up again, really feel the unfurling right through to your fingertips. And breathe out, come down. And one more time, breathe in, come up. And breathe out here and come up onto your left fingertips and see if you can find a little bit more room to move here. A little bit more room to breathe. Feel the right shoulder blade on the back. Take one more breath in and then come down and thread it through again to stay. And if your head and your um, shoulder can't rest on the floor, please place something there so that you can rest and become steady. And then lifting up the left arm, if that works for you. And you might like to keep it upright, a little bit of a spin. You can feel that left side of the ribs and the shoulder blade. Or maybe you'd like to turn the hand away and take the back of your hand over your lower back, reaching for the top of your right thigh. Mm, and just have a little bit of a wriggle. Don't be too rigid about what you think this should look like. Feel into what your mid to upper back feels like and your shoulders. You might like to lift the left knee and slide the foot away. You might even like to roll a bit over onto the back of your head, but only do that if that's right for you. Breathe, don't stop breathing. You might like to lift the left leg for a little bit more of a challenge. Breathe and feel the whole body alert and fresh. One more breath in and then breathe out, drop your left knee back in place again. Bring your left hand down by the face. And then next time you breathe in, come all the way up just one last time. To the right. And then float your right hand down again and take a moment to feel the body there. Lovely. And then bring the right hand a little bit closer underneath the face. And breathing and peel open to the left. Feel yourself unfurl and then breathe out, thread through. And breathe in, unfurl to the left. 
and breathe out, thread through. And then last time, breathe in, come up. Breathe out here, come up onto your right fingertips and then explore the space here for a couple of breaths. Really feel that left shoulder blade on the back, the ribs. One more breath in and then come down to stay. Remember you can cushion your head or your shoulder. And you might like to lift the right arm to vertical. That can feel quite nice. Or you might like to turn the palm away and reach over your lower back with the top of your right thigh. Feel what's right. Maybe slide the right leg away. Roll a little bit onto the back of your head. A little bit of spinning of the chest. Breathe. If you want an extra challenge, you can float the right leg up. But don't stop breathing. One more breath in. And then breathe out, bring your knee back in place. Your right hand down and breathe in, unfurl one more time. And then drop the hand down. Take your knees apart. Sit back towards your heels. And this time as we come into child's pose, can you place your elbows out in front of you, palms together? You're gonna really press your elbows into the floor, the heels of your hands together as you Draw your hands over your head, behind your head, as if you're shooting down towards your tailbone. Maybe your forehead rests on the mat. And breathe here. A little bit of melting of the heart, space in the armpits. One more full breath in. Pause at the top and breathe out, mouth open. And take two more like that. And then release your hands down. Draw yourself to all fours and meet me in a downward dog. Breathe, can you feel your ribs, your armpits? Take the tops of your thighs up and back and allow a little bit of time to nourish the back of the legs as you push the earth away with your hands and your feet. Try not to flare the lower ribs, keep them soft and in. And ripple yourself forwards to plank. And come down on your forearms for this plank. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Your palms could be together or your arms parallel. Let's take a few breaths. It's not as hard as straight plank. We've got our forearms to rest through. Breathe. Keep lifting the side waist, the back of the ribs, push through your heels. Take one more breath in and then drop your knees and lower onto your belly into Sphinx. And just for a moment, feel that brightness in the heart space. 
smile in the collarbones and a softening in the face. Can you feel your lumbar spine, the vertebrae right at the bottom of your spine, becoming a little compressed here? That's a good thing as long as there's no pain. If there's pain, take your elbows apart and forwards. And on a breath in, lift your chin. And as you breathe out, draw your chin in towards your chest. On a breath in, lift your chin. You can use your eyes as well. And as you breathe out, follow the arc down with your eyes as your chin comes into your chest. One more time, lift your chin up, inhale, and exhale. And just for a moment, come to lying completely flat, right cheek down, palms down, and breathe through the front body into the mat. You soften the back body. One more full breath in and a long breath out. And then bring yourself back to Sphinx. Nice and long in the back of the neck, breathe in. And as you breathe out, look over your left shoulder. See if you can see your feet and breathe in back to the center. And breathe that look slowly over to the right. And in your own time, take a couple more of these neck movements. You can also use your shoulders and your ribs if that works. And then breathe into the front and come down again and take your other cheek down to the mat and just feel how lovely it is to lie on the front of the body for a couple of breaths. Soften the palms and the wrists. And then when you're ready, if you'd like to come back to Sphinx, but this time taking your thumb and forefinger inside the opposite elbow. So you're able to press into the knees and the elbows. We've done this before. And as you breathe in, push yourself all the way up, take your bottom back, melt your chest. And as you breathe out, be steady as you draw yourself back onto your belly. Let's take a few like that. Be steady, be methodical. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, come back down. You take three more. And then we meet back down in Sphinx and take a little rest head on your hands and breathe. Feel the body, feel the support beneath you. And then bringing your elbows underneath your shoulders, palms facing down, curl your toes under and lift yourself back up into that forearm plank and take a few breaths.
breathe here. Nice and strong, nice and resolute. Drawing everything in towards the navel, everything in towards the midline. Can you take five more breaths? Drop your knees if you can't. Long in the back of the neck. One more breath in. Exhale, drop your knees. And bring yourself back to sit on your heels a moment. Just allowing yourself to feel the body. Mm, lovely. And then sliding your hands forwards, coming into a downward dog. And looking in between your hands and walk, step or jump your feet forwards. Inhale to a flat back, straight legs. And exhale, draw yourself down. Inhale, lift halfway again. Exhale, draw yourself down. This time on the inhale, come all the way up, arms over your head. And exhale, hands to your heart space. And take a moment to feel the body. Breathing and really push through the feet as you reach to the sky with your fingertips. Maybe a little back bend in the pause and then breathe out, come all the way down like a prayer. And breathe in, come to flat back, straight legs. And step back to your downward dog, breathe out. Ripple forwards to plank on the inhale. And exhale, you could drop your knees or we've been gathering strength. You might like to come down to Chaturanga with the upper arms parallel with the floor. Hover a moment and then we all meet on our bellies. Fingertips out to the sides of the shoulders, elbows sticking up. Press into your big toes and pubic bone. And on a breath in, peel the chest up, but please bring your head last like you were unfurling that arm and elbow before. And exhale, come down. And inhale, peel yourself up. And exhale, come down. This time, inhale, peel yourself up. And exhale, look right over your left shoulder. Inhale to the front. Exhale, look right over your left shoulder. Other way, it doesn't matter. Breathe into the front. And breathe out, come all the way down. Hands by your ribs. Inhale to all fours, exhale, downward dog. And really strengthening now in the left arm. Take your right hand under the body to hold outside the left leg. So we're going to come into a little twisted dog. Push the earth away through the left hand. Take the top of your thighs up and back and then look under the left armpit and breathe. Feel your strength, feel your space and feel the left side of the body. One more breath in and then breathe out, change sides. It doesn't matter where your hand arrives on the leg, it can be all the way down at the ankle or higher up. Push and firm up through that right arm, take the tops of your thighs up and back. Breathe space into the right side of the body. One more inhale. Exhale, bring your hand down. Inhaling, float your right leg up now. Lift up high, lift, 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 lift. 
and sweep your foot in between your hands. Lovely. And take a moment here. Let's drop the back knee, drop the toes and bring the hands to the knee. I'd like you to really lift the pubic bone a bit as you drag the tailbone down. And then breathe in, sweep your arms up. And breathe out. Find a little back bend if it's right for you. Really stable in the lower body. And we reach and we expand. Only take your head back if that's right for you. Breathe. One more breath in. And then breathe out. Hands come down. Find your downward dog. Beautiful. And float the left leg up, come up high, come up high, come up high, come up high. And foot in between your hands. Take a moment here and then drop the back knee. Hands to the front knee. Tailbone down, pubic bone lifted. Shoulder blades down the spine. Find that stability in the lower body and then from there lift your arms up. Maybe find a little back bend here. So we prepared the thoracic spine or the whole of the spine for back bending already. So can you feel the joy now in this Anjaneyasana? Can you feel out in all directions and breathe your heart out? Take one more breath in. And then breathe out, drop your hands down, curl the back toes under and step lightly forwards and breathe in, come all the way up. Hands to your heart, breathe out. Breathing and lift. And breathe out, come all the way down. And breathe into a flat back. Step back to your downward dog. Feel the body here. Floating up your right leg now, breathe in. Lift it high and as you breathe out, knee to nose, core plank, elbows over the wrists. Breathe in, lift up high. Breathe out, knee to right arm, as high up as you can come, elbows over the wrists. Breathe in, come up high. Breathe out, knee right over to the left, as high up as you can hold. Breathe in, come up high. And then sweep your right foot in between your hands. Let's keep the back knee up this time. And take a moment, roll the shoulders down the spine, push that back heel away. Hug the back muscles to the bone. And then breathe in, come into your high lunge. You can start with your hands to your hips and bend that back knee a little. If this isn't gonna work for you, you can drop the back knee, no problem. And now breathe in, lift up your arms. Bring your palms together and bring them behind your head, breathe out. Take a few breaths, push the heels of your hands together. You can either push through that back heel and straighten the back leg or bend the knee a little. Feel into this or move in between the two. Breathe and expand through the chest. One more breath in. And then breathe out. Bring your left hand down, right hand to your knee and take a twist to the right. And begin to circle that right arm, stirring into the right shoulder and ribs. And then taking that, those circles in the opposite direction. And then coming just to a little bit more of a twist. One more breath in. Breathe out, find your downward dog. 
and ripple forwards to plank. Now it's up to you, how are you feeling? Are you gonna drop your knees? I'm going to, or are you gonna come down straight as a stick? We'll meet on our bellies. Roll your shoulders up and back and interlace your hands over your lower back. On an inhale, draw your hands past the tailbone to lift the chest, lift your arms, your legs and spread your toes. And take three breaths or so here. Keep lifting your heart into your throat. One more breath in and then release, breathe out. Hands by your ribs. Breathe into all fours and then find your downward dog. Lift up the left leg up high, breathe in. And breathe out knee to nose, shoulders over the wrists. Breathe and lift up high. Breathe out knee to left arm, shoulders over the wrists. Breathe and lift up high. Breathe out knee to right arm. Breathe and lift up high. And then step your left foot forwards. Remember you can bring the back knee down if you want to. Otherwise, coming up, hands to your hips, high lunge. Taking a moment to drop that back knee a little before you straighten the leg again. Tailbone down, pubic bone lifted. Lift up your arms, inhale. Palms together, exhale, hands behind your head. Can you find the stability in the strength of your legs, but also in the strength of your core? You can push the heels of your hands together here and breathe your heart out. What I mean by that is expand in all directions. One more breath in and then breathe out, find your little twist to the left. And begin to circle that left arm. Lovely big stirring movements in one direction. And then circling in the opposite direction. Do you feel the lightness of the morning? Do you feel the joy even though the heavens are pouring open here and then come into your twist? Maybe draw that arm further back behind you as you spin a little inhale. Exhale, hand comes down and step lightly forwards. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hand comes, hands come to your heart space. And take a moment, hands wherever you want them to steady the breath, to come to sensation. Can you feel your heart beating? Can you feel the support beneath your feet? And do you feel different now from how you felt 40 minutes ago? Breathing in, palms together, arms up. And breathe out, fold. Breathe into a flat back, shoulders on the back. And step back to your downward dog, breathe out. And we'll just step our right foot forwards and bring the left heel down. Let's start heel to instep and windmill ourselves up into a warrior two, but a warrior two that radiates from the heart and from the navel, from the solar plexus. You could check your alignment over the back arm, but then rest your gaze softly over the front fingers. Breathe and feel the pose.
Turn your front palm over. Inhale, straighten the front leg as you lift your right arm. And then exhale, come into your reverse warrior. Look down the back leg. And feel into the pose. Feel your skin. Bring yourself back to warrior two, inhale. And then exhale, find your side angle pose. Your right hand could be on the floor or your elbow resting on the knee. And breathe it. Take a full breath in. And then hands around the front foot, lift the back heel. Step back to your downward dog. Ripple forwards to plank. Choose your way gently down to the mat or strongly down to the mat. Choose a little back bend of your own now, maybe just a very delicate cobra. On the next inhale, up to all fours. Exhale, downward dog. And step your left foot forwards, right heel down. Come up to your warrior two. Breathe it. So we haven't done a lot for the hips in this practice. There's been a lot more opening of the upper body. So it's possible, I'm feeling it as I come into these standing poses that my hips aren't completely um, open. So we use the pose them itself to explore how the hips are able to open gradually. It's a different quality. Take the left palm up, straighten the left leg, lift the left arm, inhale. Exhale, find your reverse warrior. Looking down that back leg. Breathe. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Breathe it, feel it as if for the first time. One more breath in. Exhale, take your hands around that front foot, lift the back heel, bring yourself to a downward dog. You have a choice of taking another vinyasa. I'm gonna drop my knees and rest, but if you want to come to plank, if you want to come to a little back bend, please do. And we will meet back in a downward dog. Step our right foot forwards. Left heel comes down and this time heel to heel as we come into a triangle pose. But I want you to really spread your sitting bones, feeling a lot of space in the pelvis and then gradually draw yourself into a triangle. We don't usually do it this way. And you can shimmy around a little bit, feel into that left shoulder blade. Feel where you want that left hip to be. Strong legs, really push through the balls of your feet and lift up and expand through the heart. Breathe. You might want to take that raised arm over your ear, see what that feels like. And breathe it. One more breath in. As you breathe out, look down at the front foot. Take your left hand to your hip. Bend in that front knee and come up. And we're gonna convert our triangle into a twisted triangle and it means we need to change our feet. So you're going to face the short end of your mat. Take your right foot out a bit and your left foot out to the left. So it's as if you're coming into a warrior one. You might even have a slightly narrower stance. Lift up the left arm, breathe in. 
And as you breathe out, come down halfway, but twisting towards the right. And I'm using my right hand to pull the right hip back. I've got enough room here with the fall. Take another breath in to reach, reach, reach out to the right with the left hand. And then your left hand will come either to the outside of the right leg or maybe to the floor. Or if you have a, br a brick, maybe to a brick. Take your right hand to your lower back. Now, before we twist further, I want you to make sure that not all the weight is pouring into your front foot. Take it into the back foot, draw the right hip back a bit. And then from here, explore a twist to the right, long spine and then a twist. Maybe lift up your right arm. Paravrita Uttita Trikonasana, such a beautiful all round strengthening, enlivening pose. We're revitalizing ourselves for a beautiful day in spite of how it may seem otherwise. <laughs> breathe it open, breathe into the twist, breathe into your strength and stability. One more breath in and then look down both hands around the front foot or on the shin or on a brick. You can bend into that front knee, lift the heart, breathe in, and then breathe out, pull that right hip back and straighten the leg. So we're in past Vatonasana, pyramid pose. And can you feel that in the right hamstrings? Can you soften the back of your heart? Maybe stay with the back flat or maybe come down over that leg as you exhale. Don't overlock out the front knee, you can micro bend it, breathe. Soften the face. One more full breath in and a long breath out. And can you find your downward dog from that pose? Just lightly step back and step your left foot forwards, right heel down, heel to heel, and slowly open out into your Utita Trikonasana, your triangle pose. Legs are strong, push up through the balls of your feet and radiate from the heart. Feel the right shoulder blade on the spine. Breathe it. Feel your skin. Feel your heart beating. Maybe bring the raised arm over the ear. One more breath in. As you breathe out, look down, bend in that front knee, gently come up and arrange yourself for the twisted version. Left foot out, right foot out. So you're facing the short end of your mat as if you were gonna take warrior one. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, come down. Halfway as you twist to the left, drawing the left hip back with your fingers. Take another breath in as you lengthen and then twist a little bit further. Take your right hand where it works for you, to the floor, to a block, to your leg. And before you fully twist, have a check of the balance of weight between your feet. And then spin a little and maybe lift the left arm, breathe. Keep pulling that left hip back. One more breath in. As you breathe out, look down. Take both hands to the shin or the floor or a brick and bend lightly in that front knee. 
Breathe in, lift your heart and breathe out, draw that left hip back. Breathe in, lovely long spine and then maybe stay there or drape yourself over that front leg. Mm, I think that feels good. Soften the shoulders, the back of the heart. Take one more breath in and a long breath out. And then just looking up slightly, bring both hands inside the front foot and walk yourself around so we can come into a wide angled forward fold. And you'll need to separate your feet, heels out, toes in, as far as feels right for you. You could have bent knees, you could have straight legs. And let's walk our hands out underneath our shoulders to find that length. Can you separate your sitting bones? Breathe space into the pelvis, take a breath in. And then on the breath out, walk yourself deeper into your forward fold. And what we're wanting to do here is create as much space in the back of the pelvis as possible. So breathe there. Keep lifting the tops of your thighs up and back. One more full breath in and a long breath out. Bend lightly into your knees, hands to your hips, strong core, come all the way up, inhale. Exhale here, take your hands behind you now. Roll the shoulders up and back. And take your, lift your arms behind you if that works for you to lift the heart, breathe in. And then with bent knees or with straight legs, hinge down again. And feel your way here. You can really schmoozle around a bit, wriggle around until you come to somewhere you can stay and breathe. And we're feeling the skin now and the whole of the back, the side body and the shoulders. Deep, deep breaths. Keep lifting the sitting bones, the tops of the thighs. One more breath in. As you breathe out, drop your hands to your lower back, then to the floor and walk your way around to a downward dog. And then bring your right knee Forwards. Let's take a brief pigeon. If you need to take pigeon on your back, please do. Otherwise, right knee to the left or in between your hands. Slide the left leg away. You should have no pain in the right knee at all. And just for a moment, really puff up your pigeon. Find that joy in the pigeon quite cocky, you can wriggle around a little bit, maybe sink a little bit more into the hips and you have a choice of staying here or I feel like coming to rest and sleep in my pigeon right now. You choose and take some deep breaths. So we're slowing it down, really dropping into the body, into the breath, into the closeness with the earth again. Where are you holding on now? Which parts of you can soften now? Let go. Now 
If you're on your back, rolling over to a seated position. If you're on your front, drawing yourself up again and we'll bring the left leg over for a little twist. If you need to extend the right leg, please do. Otherwise wrapping the right elbow around the left knee and hugging everything in towards you. You need to be able to feel both sitting bones and then breathe and lift up the left arm and find a little twist to the left, quite brief. And soften into it, that's all I'll say. No strain. And find your breath here. One more full breath in and a long breath out. And from here, we'll just simply unwind into a soft downward dog in order to bring ourselves to pigeon on the left. If you're coming onto your back, come onto your back, otherwise left knee forwards, right leg slide straight behind you. And for a moment, puff it up. So you need to lift your pubic bone. If you need that support of your core, open out the chest, sink into the pelvis. Maybe you stay up or maybe you come down to sleep. Breathe. Breathe. Notice where you're able to soften a little as we come to the end of this practice. And obviously if you've got longer, you could stay in your pigeon a little longer. But I'm going to invite you into that twist now. So you gently come up, bring the right leg over Maybe extend the left leg if you need to and draw the right knee in towards you. Lifting up the left, right arm, breathe in. And take a little twist around to the right. Feel your way. No strain, no striving. Breathe. One more full breath in and a long breath out. Gently look round to the front. Unravel your legs and before you come into a relaxation of Shavasana, we'll just take a very neutral forward fold. Just take it as it comes, however your body falls into it. Nothing too strong, but just to neutralise the spine, the legs. And breathe here. Really notice the quality of the out breath now. And again, you could stay longer in your forward fold. Or you might like to come up with me now, a little bit of engagement in the abdomen. And now bend your knees and use your abdominal strength to slowly bring you down bone by bone. And I hope you have time. I know it's nine o'clock. I've taken you right to the wire. I hope you have time to rest fully. To allow the energy system, which we've stirred up big time in this practice to enjoy that stirring, but also to settle so that you can really reap the benefits and not leave like a firework off your mat.
Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you have a lovely day. I'm actually going to just lie here for a little bit and then turn off the video. But you free to go. Most of you are already leaving. Have a lovely day. Lots of love. <laughs>